Hello everyone. I'm just going to do a quick video to show you on how I test my camera and screen before I start putting my night vision together. The reason being is by doing this process you at least know that the camera and screen was working before you hacked it. If you then do it after the event, you turn everything on, it doesn't work, you then go through the motion then thinking was it faulty before and because you've then hacked it to pieces you are then in a position that uh, the seller of the goods will not refund you. Uh, so it's best to actually prove that it was working beforehand and then if so by all means return your goods and uh, get a refund and then get another screen or camera. So what we'll go through just very quickly is you'll get a small camera like this. So this is an infrared camera uh, with a nice chunky lens. Uh, this comes as part of the camera which is great. You also then get the cable that connects it to, so you get the um, B and C connection and a power supply. So you can just pop that in there like so. I mean this is very much self-explanatory but I might as well go through every step by step. Then just get a BNC to uh, phono adapter, so you can put that in. You'll then need a three-way splitter, so you want to put. Oops, sorry. I've also got a male to male, uh, male to female connection. So just want to put that in the end there. Put one end in my power supply for the camera. Then I'll put a, another one into my screen and pop these two together. And there you go, you can see that we've got an image coming through, so let's have a quick look around. So as you can see, oops, so sort of, <laughs> just so you don't go nuts, you Put your camera the right way up, and this is where you can actually then play around with the, the focusing if need be to make your image sharper. So, there you go. By doing that, you then eliminate any form of issues that you might have going forward, apart from obviously your wiring. If you then run into problems, you've got to then start doing the diagnostics of have I wired it wrong. You shouldn't go wrong. Uh, I'm going to do another video now which will kind of go through uh, what to do with the the wiring for this and also putting the wiring together for the a DC connector. So um, whilst you're reviewing what I've just said I'll be making another video. Thanks.